bakit narinig ko na YLS, the Youth Leadership Summit, palaging may gastos? Eh, that's under the, uh, our, our college students. Di ba? Apo. Uh, hindi ako yung makasagot. Attorney, sino po ang sasagot? Kasi kanina pa natin uh, pinag-usap. Uh, Major General Bahaw. Sir. Bahaw. Thank you, Mr. Chair, Your Honor. Well, kadalasan po, uh, Your Honor, ang mga partisipante nito ay mga youth, high school students, and college students po. Kasama na rin po ang mga out-of-school youths and uh, even yung mga IP youths natin. In the case of uh, Mindanao, kasama dito yung mga Muslim youth po, uh, Your Honor. So meaning, halo-halo po sila, not only college students. Yes, Your Honor. Um, across all sectors, lalo na yung mga kabataan po, Your Honor, na walang access po talaga sa education, ito po yung mga inuuna natin sa ganitong klaseng mga summits. Salamat po, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Attorney, so he has admitted that he has received envelopes. I'm not saying it's wrong, no? It can be an appreciation thing or a love gift, whatever it might be. I don't think it's wrong. Uh, pero if that is actually the the uh, habit of uh, uh, the secretary uh, to give envelopes to his uh, to her people, I wonder if uh, only Yusek Mercado or you receive envelope. Perhaps uh, Yusek Mempin should also say something about that, or anybody here among the Tepet family. Because, uh, as I've said, no, when you receive an envelope, there was no thinking that uh, there's anything, anything wrong with that. Wala kaming inaiisip na masama yan. No, just, you know, you're under oath and just tell us about it and thank you for telling us that. Yes. As, uh, uh, sir, um, I, again, I must say that when I... I was called and you know received an envelope. I, I initially I thought that it is how it is in DepEd because I did not come from DepEd. So I, to be honest, I was I was grateful because um, it it helps a lot. No, we are, we are from the I am from the province, so parang nakakatulong. Where, where, where were you no? before, Atone Aria? Osia? before you went to DepEd, where, where, where were you before? Uh, I spent more or less 25 years in another agency, sir. Uh, in the private? Uh, no, no, no. Government also. Government sir. then? Yes, sir. Oh, okay, okay. I just came across the DepEd yun, yung, um, posting. So and you you were thinking that, uh, you know, uh, receiving an envelope is just something that uh, uh, that happens in DepEd once in a while or... Is, is, and, and you're grateful. I really appreciate that. No? As, 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 as I've said, we're not thinking of anything wrong in receiving those envelopes. I'm just, we're just wondering, how many of our DepEd family receive envelopes too? We're just wondering. If uh, Tony Osias uh, was able to say and, 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 uh, and tell us the truth about that, and uh, perhaps Yusek Mercado, uh, Yusek Mempin, can you say something about that? Uh, yes, Sir Honor, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, for me, Sir, uh, I have not uh, received any envelope coming from uh, uh, as ASEC uh, Sunshine. Oh, you have not received any envelope? Uh, yes, so, Sir, for me, Sir. Uh, ibig sabihin, eh, uh, only some special people receive envelopes like that. And you're not too special, man. Is that what you're trying to say? I'm not uh, aware of, of it, sir. Can you say something about yes. that? You're the spokesperson. Yes, sir. Uh, when I was hope, sir, I, I became hope. No, I I can categorically say I was not able to receive a single envelope at all. But uh, I re do remember sometime December 2022 or early December, I did receive uh, an envelope, just minimal amount. And at times, pag nagsasabi, may mga times kasi, sir, na candidly, medyo napagalitan ako because nag-aabono daw ako. Because when people come to me as a spokesperson, sometimes they tell problems, I would give 
ang, at the end of the day, ang kailangan lang pala nila, 3,000, 5,000. So, nagbibigay ako personally. So, there were instances, occasional, although not regularly, not like monthly at all, that I would I, I would receive, but not from ASIC sign. I would, uh, when, the, when I would tell the VP, like nung Christmas, the VP gave it to me herself. Well, there are times... But yes, uh, I did receive occasionally. There are times, uh, you know, you when yes. you appreciate stuff. Yes, ako rin, ganun eh. Oh. When I appreciate my stuff, I would... Uh, Sometimes give envelopes. Yes, sir. But occasionally, yes. Kahit na malit ang amount. I think it's this. Uh, uh, Tony Monsayak, you you promised that you're going to submit a, I think a rebuttal to. Uh, yes, your honor. In yeah. fact, I what, only what, learned. Uh, I only learned today that I was being directed to submit the documents, and I will comply, your honor. Uh, before the next hearing date, I will uh, submit the documents requested of me, your honor. Before the. Before the next hearing date, Your Honor, I'm just gonna compile it and submit it to the committee, Your Honor. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, how many days will it take? Maybe three, Your Honor. Maybe three. Three days. Okay. We yeah. will expect that. Uh, uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Chair, can I just make a manifestation? Yes, I, please continue, Congressman uh, Abante. I have a very high regard on the armed forces. Very high. You are professional soldiers. Uh, Yusik Mempin, correct? Major General Bajau, Colonel Baransing, all of you. Uh, very high regard ako sa Armed Forces of the Philippines. Okay? Uh, like uh, my good friend here, uh, Congressman Ako, who used to be a general. Ma Masyadong respect ko sa inyo. I hope that you're going to remain above politics. Because, listen, you're only accountability is to the commander-in-chief. No one else. Not the mayor, not anyone else, but the commander-in-chief. And that's the president of the republic. Of course, that includes the secretary of the public national defense. So please, I'm asking you, sana ma-maintain ninyo yung high regard ko at high regard ng maraming tao sa inyo. Please be about politics. Yun lang po. Manifestation ko. Bakit narinig ko na YLS, the Youth Leadership Summit, palaging may gastos? And that's under the uh, our, our college students. Di ba? Apo. Uh, hindi ako yung makasagot. Attorney, sino po ang sasagot? Kasi kanina pa natin uh, pinag-uusapan. The... Major General Bahaw. Sir. Bahaw. Thank you, Mr. Chair, Your Honor. Well, kadalasan po, uh, Your Honor, ang mga participante nito ay mga youth, high school students, and college students po. Kasama na rin po ang mga out-of-school youths and uh, even yung mga IP youths natin. In the case of uh, Mindanao, kasama dito yung mga Muslim youth po, uh, Your Honor. So meaning, halo-halo po sila, not only college students. Yes, Your Honor. Um, across all sectors, lalo na yung mga kabataan po, Your Honor, na walang access po talaga sa education. Ito po yung mga inuuna natin sa ganitong klaseng mga summits. Salamat po, Mr. Chairman.